So as a double major in government and gender studies, I am most interested in the intersection between the two, which is feminist politics, um, political movements, and also the theories that are behind them. I wasn't able to take such a class back at my school, so I was really excited to have that opportunity here. Uh, originally, I was planning on just being here for the Michaelmas term, and so I came a little bit early in September, about four weeks before the rest of the Oxford students arrived and we were able to um, do a seminar on Britain in the 1800s now. It's so much more independent here. Um, you know, every day requires even a little bit of, of effort, you know what I mean, um, in terms of managing the workload. I've grown to love um, my topics. I've been even more interested in feminist political theory and. Um, generally movements and it's also inspired me to pursue a thesis back home in that for my senior year. So I think that overall more confident um, both socially and academically. I have had a really great opportunity here to be able to work on the specific topics that interest me. Um, I've also gotten the chance to work quite extensively with um, tutors that I've gotten the chance to get to know really well um, and be able to, I've worked with one of, one of my tutors I've worked with all three terms um, and it's just really amazing to be able to make those kinds of connections with people. Um, hit the library around 9, get lunch at 12, go back to work around 1.30, 2 o'clock, work until dinner and then after that my time is pretty much my own. I came in thinking that I would be in the library all day just, you know, studying or grinding away at my papers and things like that, but instead I've been able to go to different social events, meet a lot of different people, um, create a concrete friend group, both visiting students and Hartford students here. I've gotten to know so many actual students and actually work alongside or live alongside um, the Hartford students um, in a way that I think has been particularly unique. Just getting to know them, getting to know more about the UK from uh, their perspective more so than you know anything that I could read online or watch videos because uh, yeah just their personal experiences is so interesting you know and so many people here are, are so friendly so whether it's like you know catching up over a pint or going out for coffee you know seeing the different coffee shops around here taking a walk through the meadows um, I think all of those experiences how I've explored like the local Oxford scene there's so many public parks and things of that nature that, you know, um, are very beautiful and keep you very sane, I think. Um, and it's very different from, you know, the big city, and I enjoyed that. Uh, I've really enjoyed, I saw Twelfth Night, um, Julius Caesar, and Much Ado About Nothing, and those were all, like, just... So, the, I think the Globe does a fantastic job with making it very fun. I really hope that when I get back home, all the intense work I've done here kind of translates to more efficient, more um, timely work when I get back home. And I would like to say that I think that Oxford University is more than, than the institution. It's the people here, it's the academics, it's the brilliant minds, it's the students that share, may share similar interests um, and want to do good. So I would say that I found that really rewarding here, that I think that there are some parts of Oxford that get amplified more than others, and there are many people here that are super passionate about feminism, super passionate about political movements and change that I think is totally worth coming and experiencing. Hartford is really, I don't know, I'm probably biased, but it's, it's the best college to be at as a visiting student.